Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we are going to be doing a demo of my Notifier BGX 101 L dual action, key resettable, uh, used to be addressable pull station. So to begin, uh, let's just kind of look at the pull station itself. It's all plastic except for the back box, and there used to be a big addressable module on it, but I took it off for two reasons. One, addressable uh, doesn't really work when you're hooking it up the way I am and two it was like a lot 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 of wires for my back box and it was getting kind of complicated so I cut it out and just spliced into the wires and made it into a conventional uh, terminal pull station so that's that's that and uh, the reason it says Roberta S um, is because this was pulled from a building from a working system and the address used to be 103 so it's pretty much my first used, uh, first used pole station. So, yeah. And so you got the key reset here. The key is different from all my other pole stations. I always check. And up front here, you got the uh, spot for the brake rod when you go to pull it. Uh, there's a little, you can't really see it with the, there it is. There's a little knife thing that comes down. And uh, since I pulled it, um, yeah, there's nothing else. Since I pulled it, we'll get to uh, resetting. So, I'm going to take my notifier key. This is not a factory key. I have this made, custom made, because the pull station, because uh, this pull station did not come with the key. So, to reset it, put your key in and you turn. And it will spring open just a little bit, and that will reset it. And then you just kind of push it back closed. And lock it like you barely even need to push it open and close so to pull it you push this little plate and then you pull it out and now it's activated and then you go to reset and it's reset so if you want to open it to either do some service put a brake rod in or test it you put the key in and turn and then just open it up and inside is the button it sits like it sits pushed down and then when it pulls it pops out and that's what trips the alarm nothing too much happening inside model number you all listed um, slide the uh, slide the brake rod in through there I don't have a brake rod which I'm sad about but it's a pretty good pulsation I like it I like the way it looks um, my, wait my keys are jammed hold on there we go and so yeah, I like it. It's a pretty cool pull station. Uh, it works real well. And this one is the one that's actually been licensed under Notifier. And I kind of like the, uh, I don't know if retro is the right word, but the fire lettering on it. I don't know, it looks just kind of old school. Which uh, I think is kind of cool. So I say we go and put it on the board. All right, so here we are. We are ready to test the newly installed pole station. So once again, to pull, you push in, and then you pull down. So here we go. In three, two, one. Push in, pull down. And then to reset it, Put your key in and turn it and close it right back up. You will rearm the system and you'll see it's off. So now, if you want to test the pole station, your system is active. You put the key in and open it. And then to stop the test, you just close it. So that has been a review of the Notifier BGX 101L Dual Action Key Reset Addressable Pulp Station. So, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.